Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to check the primary GPU checkbox in your Hackintosh. So on Proxmox you have um, the primary GPU checkbox and basically what that does, it allows the system to just use um, the VM to use the GPU that you pass through as its primary output. So this is useful if you're on your Hackintosh and you just want to output into the display and not the VNC console. But if you are on an, uh, especially if you're on an NVIDIA card, what you need to do is change some BIOS settings. So, um, otherwise you won't get a display output until you've installed drivers and macOS is fully booted. So I'm just going to do a quick demo now, so if I click start, in a few moments you'll see on screen the actual Proxmox um, output. So, as you can see there, it's just outputting like a normal machine. Um, so it's just going to boot into macOS as normal. And basically, um, that's it. That's the, um, that's the output. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Because a lot of you have problems with actually getting the GPU to work and the drivers to install. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Also, many thanks to my Discord moderator Tor for making this possible as I did not know how to do this either until it was messing around with the settings in the BIOS and found out that this worked the greatest. So, what we're gonna to need to do is go into the BIOS. So, I'm gonna reboot my Proxmox node now um, and we're gonna go into the BIOS and actually apply these settings. So let's do that. So, if I now press the power button on the machine and hold F2, which is my BIOS key, if you're unsure of what your BIOS key is, please just type in, for example, Asus B450F Gaming BIOS key. So you can see here, um, we're in the BIOS. So this is a second gen i7 that I use for my server because that's all I need. Um, but basically, we're going to go over to configuration, video, and then these are the settings you want. So it'll be under your integrated graphics controller. So for the integrated graphics de device, I've got it as enable it primary. So basically, if there's your GPU installed, it will not enable the Intel graphics. So set the integrated graphics display minimum memory to 64 megabytes. And then the adapter, the primary one, is going to be the integrated graphics. Now you might think, are you sure? Yeah, so basically Proxmox will then boot using the integrated graphics and it will not boot then from the GPU because Proxmox is reserving that GPU. And also you can just set whatever you want for that um, and you can do that. Um, but once you've done that and set it off, just go to exit, save changes, why? And then now it's going to uh, reboot into Proxmox. So um, you've actually... Um, got to give it a moment and then we're going to head on to the Proxmox web interface and I'm just going to show you um, what to actually do to get this uh, feature now working so you can see I'm booting back into Proxmox on my main server um, which is probably the reason that the website's down if you try to access it around this time um, and I'm going to just use my KVM switch for my keyboard um, just to get back into Windows so um, I'm just going to switch back over to my GPU output on Proxmox, so it'll be a black screen, but now we're just going to go over to the web interface. So if I just uh, set this up, so this is the web interface now, so what we're going to do is just wait for this to actually boot, um, and then we're just going to, um, obviously this guide is assuming that you've got GPU pass through working, uh, so enable AI OMMU in the BIOS and in Proxmox, and uh, having the drivers installed and stuff like that. So, all you need to do is go to the VM that you want to pass through, so this one, and then yours might be like this. All you need to do is just check primary GPU. Then, if we go back to our video graphics output, click on start give it a moment for Proxmox to actually start up um, and you'll see something like this you can see the Proxmox logo this will be on your display output on your HDMI or 
display port, whatever. Uh, but you can see that it's booting just as normal. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like. But if you can't really get yours working and your BIOS settings are different, please join the Discord from the link below and create a help post. So that'll allow us to, uh, you can provide screenshots and we can help you. But that's going to be it for the uh, video. Thanks ever so much for watching. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers. So if you would like to, please subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. Goodbye.